as big as me, Charlie Irwin. Then number 11, Sean Mahoney. Give it up for Sean. He took a second in the race earlier on and went to the line, nearly won it. Give it up for Ashton Bowen. Number two. Then uh, second row at the back there. You can't quite see him, but hopefully Will will get him on camera. Number 94, Oliver Rigby. Oliver Rigby. Da, da, da. Oh. Lovely. Yeah, that was, that was good. Thank you. Don't give up your day job. 292. Freddie Bartlett just turned seven. His first competitive race on a geared motorcycle. This should be illegal. Security. Okay. <laughs> Lining up next to him for Team Green Kawasaki. He took his first ever arena cost race in his debut race earlier on the day. A wire to wire win. Number three, Ben Musto. Next to him, number four, this kid does not stop chatting throughout the day. He is so into arena cross, I can't begin to tell you. Give it up for Kean Knowles. And finally, on the far outside, he's got some work to do from here, so he's going to need your encouragement. Number 82, Harvey Shaw. One big final cheer for our 65. Now let's light them up. It's going to be a swarm of bees out there. I can tell you, they can hear you because they got quieter bikes. It's such a buzz for these kids. Every time we speak to them during shows, in between shows, these guys are wired for this. This is their future. They want to be pros. The more you get behind them, the more they want to keep training hard and come back year after year. And on that last lap, I want everybody to really get behind these guys. Do not be afraid to maybe get off your seat and clap these guys as they go around for that last lap. Okay, 10 seconds on the board. Who is going to get the whole shot? I want to see number 292, Freddie Bartlett do well out there, the seven-year-old. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do this. Ooh. Freddie Bartlett's got the whole shot. No He's way. away. Yes, Freddie. So, the seven-year-old, just his first ride on a geared motorcycle. You're going back to school on Monday. How was your uh, weekend? Well, I got the whole shot in, in Manchester Arena in front of oh. a sold-out crowd. <laughs> he just aired that, smashed his crash helmet on the bars, uh, he does not care, but Musto is right there in second, going for another race win. Freddie Bartlett, how do you use the... <laughs> he doesn't even need the gears, does he? No, look at him, man. He, they, he, he got the first lap. Freddie Bartlett, the youngest competitor in the history of Arena Cross. He, oh, he's, he's out living of the lead. The, living the dream. He's on that Fro Systems. So Mark at Fro Systems is so into it. Let's get behind them. Come on. This, this crowd's cheering without us even asking. They know. They're stoked. This is the future of motocross race right here with a seven-year-old out of the lead. Seven to ten years of age with a 65 in that youth class. Oh, oh no. Musto goes down. No. Just pushing too hard. The drama for number three, Ben Musto. And he just washed the front end. The uh, race winner from earlier on. Well, he's going to have to work hard now if he's going to win this one. That has maybe opened the door for Bowen. But yep. right now, look at this. The Fro Systems rider, 292. But here comes Bowen, Ashton Bowen, number two on the uh, race effects KTM. Let me run through the, the run. What we got now is Oliver Rigby in 11th, Harvey Shaw in 10th, Bradley Buckley in 9th, Kean Knowles in 8th, Neil McCarty, Ben Musto dropping down to 6th, Jake Davies, Sean Mahoney in 4th, Charlie Irwin in 3rd, Ashton Bowen in 2nd, and Freddie Bartlett, the seven-year-old boy wonder, is out in the lead, but for how long? Because Ashton Bowen has got, oh, Bowen trying to make the move, but no, he's held him. Bartlett able to stay out in front. This is amazing. Oh, Bowen's right there. He got the drive. Oh. Okay, now we're going to see what this young Freddie Bartlett's made of. Has he got the minerals to fight back? Musto is back on a charge. Don't rule him out yet. Hey, you know what? He had it for three laps. Uh, he's got that going for him. And he now he's sitting with a nice lead in front of number 50, Charlie Irwin. So he still might get that podium. Yeah, we're counting down the laps. It's been an immaculate race for Ashton Bowen. He's just picked them off, and he now finds himself in the lead. Here comes number three, Musto, who threw it away somewhat. He was in second with a chance of winning it and repeating his race win earlier on. Two laps to go, folks, two laps. As you've got Mr. Ashton Bowen out in front, the seven-year-old boy wonder, Freddie Bartlett in second place, and it is Mr. Charlie. It's uh, Charlie Irwin, number 50 in third. It's a battle for third. I think that's the key battle. Can Sean Mahoney close in 
on Charlie Irwin and get on that podium, on that box. We've got yellow flags waved. I can't see who's crashed. Number 82, it is it's a all this shot has gone down. Look at Mahoney. He can't overtake on the yellow. Two, he goes past the incident. It's all on the last corner. Last lap, folks. Come on, cheer these guys on. Last lap as they come by you. Give it up for your number one, number two. All these guys, man. Seven to ten years of age. What was I doing? I was playing with sticks and picking my nose, man. We Jeez. still are. What are you talking Stop about? Stop it. I've had, a, I've had some problems in my nasal cavities. Here we go. So one last turn for Bowen and Mr. Bartlett. It's that all, final burn. Check this out. It's all on the last corner for third. Mahoney has lit that bike up. He wants that podium spot. There we go. So Bowen takes it in the 65. Bartlett gets second. And Mr. Irwin, no. Oh. And number three, Ben Musto moving in front of Sean Mahoney, who dumped his bike on those crash barriers. Unlucky for Mahoney. Okay, for the riders that don't get on the podium, when the rest of them ride off the track, please show your appreciation and put your hands together and give them a good old round of applause. I'm not sure if we're going to get all of them up there. No, we're just going to get the top three. So as the rest of the guys that didn't make the podium come down this stretch, please give them a big round of applause. Here they come.